Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today I've got another tutorial for you guys in my series how I made it. Today we are going through a design I've come up with myself and I guess in the comments right now it is a shulker box swapper. This thing, I, I don't really need these, I don't know why I made it so big. It makes it look a bit, lot worse but it's very simple, it's very small um, it's very easy to make and it is very effective and I'll be definitely building this on my own SMP very 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 soon as you can see it's very small and simple I'll be showing you how to make this custom design now if you do enjoy and want to see more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe like the video and comment down below what tutorials you'd like to see so let's get into the tutorial Firstly, as you can see, this thing looks really well. So you press the button, a shocker box comes out, and you can look through it, get what you want, and if it's not the one you want, you can like press the button again. Say we don't want the purple one, we actually want the green one. So we go and press the button. Maybe the green one's got the resources we want for the project we want to do. So we get the green one. We do actually. Well, that's quite cool. Yeah, you get the green one. You get, take the resources. Then you realise mm, I actually kind of want the orange one as well. So you press the button. And then we might not get the orange one. No, we press it again. And it's a really simple design. It works really, really well. I'm definitely building this in my SMP, like I said. Anyway, so you're going to want to place a hopper going backwards and a hopper going into that hopper. Behind it, you want to place a dropper facing upwards and then a dispenser facing towards the hopper. This is a really, really simple design. Not going to need much resources at all. So once you've done that, you don't want to grab a normal piston and place it facing towards your original hopper just like I've done in this design over here you see the piston I'm going to place some oak planks up there and then some upside down stairs you see the stairs make it so the struggle box faces outwards so you can open it because if it's a full block it will like extend uh, up so you can't actually open it but the stairs allow you to do that once you've done that you just want to make the wood, around, the wood around the side and then the glass front. You can make out of whatever material you like. I like it out of glass because you can see what's going on. Make sure to not leave that bottom middle because you want to dig down two, place a sticky piston and then whatever block you want on top of it. And this means that you can then open it and then when you're done with it, it will retract up so the sugar box can't escape through the hole. So now on to the rest of the wiring because we've built all the mechanics. Firstly, place a button right there, I'm just filling this hole quickly, and then exactly behind the button you want to place a block on the block below it, so it's there, place a block, and then redstone dust on top of that. Then, we want to connect up the piston that is in the floor on the glass, as you can see down there, and I've done it here, is you have a tunnel going underneath and into the side of the piston. So, exactly one block away from that, we just want to dig one down there, two down there, then tunnel straight to the piston, leave a redstone line coming from the bottom, we can block itself so it looks a bit better. Redstone line from the bottom connecting up to there. Then we want to do just like over here, we want to place the redstone dust to the right of the hole and a repeater running into the block because that will then power the piston. So I think there, repeater there and set it to four ticks just like on this side. And we want to place another two repeaters facing away in this direction. So two like that, remember they should all be four ticks as it is over this side. Nice and easy, four ticks, this is the timings for the things that doesn't all go at once and all mess up, you need some timings to actually make it work. And then you want to dig a little bit around the dropper at the bottom and place in some redstone wiring. So we want a repeater running into the dropper and then two repeaters, um, as you can see you've got a dust and two repeaters running into it both on four ticks which I'll do in a second and then finally two redstone dust leading connecting up all those repeaters once we're done here connect them all up to four ticks just like that and then we're literally done we're done this is the whole shulker box swapper completed it was so 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 simple and you just want to grab your nine shulker boxes and put them in that dispenser right there you can build up a bit more to stop the shulker boxes occasionally flying out. There's a bedrock thing where they sometimes fly out it's quite annoying just make sure you check after everyone that will just shulker boxes back in the dispenser 
It's nothing to do with design if the bedrock feature, the glitch, I don't know, there's not much you can do. So yeah, once you grabbed all your shulker boxes, this thing works like an absolute dream. Just like the other one, if you don't get it, if you click the button, you get another one. This is a really simple design for both bedrock and Java, I'm pretty sure. Definitely works on bedrock, as you can see one's gone up, but just make sure it'll be fine. So I'm pretty sure it works, well, it definitely works on bedrock, I'm pretty sure it'll also work on Java. So thanks for watching, um, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy, comment down below if you use this in your own world or you like it or you want to suggest a tutorial I can do in the future and if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. Thanks for watching, see ya.